there is no single way to stack silver. Your stack and how you accumulate it will depend on your stacking strategy, goals, and financial abilities. So with that said, I will offer some general guides and opinions to hopefully help you to develop your own stacking thought process and decisions. So let's get started. Before we do, please take just a moment and hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Let's start with what to buy first. I would recommend you start building your foundation for your stack with two different types of silver bullion products. First would be US constitutional silver or any silver coinage that has a silver content regardless of the country of origin. This type of silver can usually be acquired at a very reasonable price and is readily available. The next would be a primary sovereign minted silver bullion coin from your part of the world that you feel would be the most recognized and accepted by the general public. For me, in the US, it would be the American Silver Eagle. In Canada, the Silver Maple. In Great Britain, the Britannia. In Mexico, the Libertad. You get the idea. These coins will usually be readily available. They are considered legal tender and usually very reasonably priced with only a small premium over spot. The idea here is that you want your foundation to be as liquidable as possible whenever you need it to be. I would also recommend that you try to find secondary market and cull or damaged versions of this coin instead of the new ones. As long as the coin is guaranteed by the seller to be authentic, you can usually find these coins at a fantastic discount. Who cares if they aren't perfect? There's still one ounce of fine silver, and when the spot price of silver skyrockets to over $50 an ounce, you'll still get at a minimum the full spot price for these coins. Next, how much should you buy? Well, this really depends on your financial abilities. I would encourage that before you consider investing in precious metals, you should be in a position where you have disposable income to do it with. This means that after all the bills are paid, there's food in the cupboard, the kids are taken care of, you've already established an emergency slush fund, and you have that anniversary gift already bought, wrapped, and stashed on the top shelf, then and only then would I consider buying some silver for your stack. It's my view that you should never compromise the quality of life of your family for a financial investment. This can be achieved by establishing a silver budget. After all the financial commitments are met, take the funds you have left over, then take a percentage of that and designate it as your silver budget. If you stick to this budget, it will seem like it'll take forever, but trust me, your stack will grow a lot faster than you think. Remember that silver stacking is a long-term endeavor measured in years. Don't get impatient. Just make purchases you can afford, and before you know it, you'll have a really nice stack of silver. When to buy. For this question, there are two silver stacker camps out there. On one side, you have the cost average stackers who will buy the same dollar amount of silver at the same interval regardless of the price. The idea here is that you will end up buying some of your silver high and some low, but in the end, the average cost of your stack per ounce will be a reasonable number. For the new stacker on a very limited budget, I would recommend this technique. The other camp will use current events, research, and chart analysis to try to determine the trending characteristics of the silver market to decide when to make a purchase. This takes a great deal of time and effort to get good at, and even then, when dealing with a manipulated silver market like we have, it still makes this technique very difficult to master. Next, where to buy. I would say a great place to start is your local coin shop. Spend some time developing a relationship with the owner and employees, and you'll really be surprised how much you can learn from them. The more you frequent their shop, 
and the stronger your relationship is, the better chance they'll offer you a great deal now and then. Another great place to acquire your silver is from any of the reputable online dealers. They usually have great product selections and many different paying options. Just do your research, shop around, and find the best deals for what you're looking for. I have a bullion dealer review video series where you can check out my assessments of some of the major online bullion dealers in the market. I'll leave a link to the playlist in the comment section below. What not to buy? As a beginning stacker, I wouldn't recommend buying high premium bullion products. Just stick with your bullion stack foundation sovereign coins for a while until you amass enough ounces that you feel it's okay to start buying other products. The idea here is to accumulate wealth and every dollar spent on premium equates to fewer silver ounces in your stack. In the beginning, I would also avoid buying generic bullion as well. Now here you might say, but I pay lower premiums for generic than I do for my foundation sovereign coins, and you would be correct. However, the factor of liquidity must be considered. Generic bullion is not legal tender, it's not backed by a government, and may not be readily recognized by the general population as an item of value. All of these factors can make it difficult to find buyers for your generic silver products when it comes time for you to sell. The premium paid for your sovereign foundation coins is like an insurance premium to give you better odds of being able to sell your silver when you need to. For me, that's a worthy investment cost. I would also recommend that you don't waste a lot of money buying capsules to protect your bullion. If you're stacking for long-term wealth retention and buying products with the intent of only selling them for their spot price in the future, then you really don't need to worry about their condition. You will still get the same spot price regardless of blemishes, scratches, or even milk spots. Now, if your stacking progresses to a point that you decide to start flipping high premium coins, then this is where the protective capsules will be a worthy investment because you'll want to preserve the coin at their best possible condition to ensure that you can get the highest premium selling price. But for the beginner, I would recommend avoiding the flipping stacker techniques until you fully understand the risks involved. As a beginner, keep your focus on value and maximizing your money into a silver bullion product that provides the wealth retention and liquidity you need. Was the information in this video of any use to you? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you to all who support this channel, especially to those who take the time to give it a like and make a comment. I don't monetize my channel, so your likes and comments really do make a difference. Thank you. If you're not yet a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and then select the notification bell to be sure that you receive a notice as soon as I post up new content.